Hello and welcome to Mantis Hub. Today I am going to be talking to you about our roadmap feature. The roadmap is part of our project management tool set similar to our change log and is closely related to versions within your Mantis Hub projects. Uh, so what the roadmap does is it takes your issues and it links them to the versions in which you plan or which you target to have them fixed in. Uh, so the first thing you need to do to use your roadmap feature is to make sure you've defined some versions within your Mantis Hub projects. So to do that, we head to the manage page, manage projects, and then we click on the project uh, that we're concerned about. And if you scroll down, you can see this section here of versions. Here's some that we've already created. It's really simple to add extra ones. You just simply define them here in this box. And you can use our handy pipe character to enter in more than one at one time. Uh, until you actually create your versions, you will see that your issues will not show up with any version related fields. So product version, target version, fixed in version, etc., will not be displayed until those versions are actually created. Um, so the next thing you need to do to be able to generate your roadmap is to set your target version here within your issue. And we go in and edit it. We're going to set our target version to be 3.0. Update your information. I'm just going to do this for a few more tickets. So we have some data for you. We can use our handy group actions to set a target version. Okay, so now if we head over to our roadmap, we can see in our roadmap here that it is now generated information linking versions to the specific issues in which we want to target them to be fixed. And here's the ones that we updated just now. We created version 3.0 and we linked one, two, three, four issues to have a target version of 3.0 within our hoverboard project. So there's a few uh, shortcuts here so we can filter it all down to just the hoverboard project by clicking on that button or we can filter it down just to 3.0 because that's the one we're concerned with by clicking on that button. You can also click on this view issues button and it will display those issues within your view issues page. So then you can do some things like print the print reports on it, CSV, Excel, export, etc. But if we head back, the other thing I wanted to show you is that you will also see a progress report here at the bottom of uh, your roadmap details. And it will show you that we've got 0% progress uh, for this version because none of these tickets have as yet been resolved. So if I head into one of these, and I want to resolve it because I know this has been fixed. So if we head back now into our roadmap, we can see there's a progress now of 25% because we've resolved one of those four issues. Uh, a few other things to note for your roadmap is that uh, any time you set a version to be released, it will no longer appear in your roadmap. We also should note that your roadmap is available to be viewed by all users within your Mantis Hub service, but you can configure that to be further restricted. And that is Mantis Hub Roadmap. Thanks for listening.